inflation. And uh, they, you know, they released her on um, Monday, and uh, we fin we went over to uh, her parents and grandparents visited that day, and then the following day we left. Didn't really have much of a Christmas that year, because she was in the hospital in Indiana. But then. Uh, she had a doctor's appointment with a uh, heart doctor that she uh, had in Dover, Ohio, and uh, we. I tried to call. I've tried to call on my little track phone I had at the time, but I wasn't getting through very well to explain to them that. She, we're in Indiana. She was in the hospital, and she wouldn't be able to make it to her appointment. And they sent her a bill for twenty-five dollars for missing her appointment. Of course, I wrote him a letter. I was, and then the doctor dropped her. Medical doctors do not want to listen to PhDs or anybody. They think they're better. That's a problem. They think they're the best person on the face of the earth, that they know a lot more than somebody with a PhD. I studied for 10 years, 10 plus years. It's like all those years of studying doesn't mean nothing to somebody that went to medical went to college and medical school and then internship and and you know everything that they've been through it's like everything they've been through is a lot more than somebody like me that's been through what I've been through come on let's get real we all have our own roads that we travel No one is better than anybody else. But when you take everything that I have done and just rot it all up and throw it away like it never meant anything, it hurts. It hurts very deeply. And I can be angry and sin not because the Bible says, be angry and sin not. And I was angry yesterday at the hospital. And the nurse was saying, you're a minister, you should calm down. You should calm. I said, I can be angry and sin not. And I'm not sinning. I'm not happy with how you people are treating Renee. So she said, well, there's a police officer out there. You, know, you want me to have him come in? I said, yeah, because I have uh, law enforcement training. I want to talk to him. Come to find out, he was there with a prisoner. He was an officer from New Philly, and he was there with a prisoner. <laughs> that nurse tried to scare me, but it didn't work. It backfired. I talked to the officer, told him what was going on, but he said more or less he can't do anything because, you know, he was from New Philly. and uh, So that nurse didn't know anything what she was talking about. They just don't want to listen to somebody like me. Well, it's about high time that they wake up and listen before it's too late because if something happens to Renee... There's going to be a big lawsuit. I'm be coming into a lot of money because of their stupidity at the hospitals. Criteria. Come on. Let's get real. They are no longer wanting to treat people that's on Medicare and Medicaid the way they used to be treated. They just want you know, give them medication and send them home so they get worse. And something ser more serious happens. Well, you know, there's somebody else that's no longer on the system no more. That we don't have to pay taxes for. That that's 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 what it's about. Trying to weed out, weed out the sick people, on who really deserves the care and who doesn't deserve the care. 
I'm not stupid. Now, back when I was uh, staying with University of Phoenix online for um, a bachelor's degree, and then when I developed pneumonia and could no longer uh, basically, you know, get out of bed long enough uh, to uh, finish the course, uh, while well, I was uh, going through uh, the uh, online library, I ran across an article written by a medical doctor that said that doctors and ERs are being paid by the government not to treat people. That they feel, well, is not viable to society. That's the bottom line. If you're not viable to society, doctors and ERs are not going to treat you right. They're going to let you suffer. They're going to let you die. Because they're getting paid to do it by the government. But see, a lot of people don't want to believe that. They want to have their heads in the sand and go along and say, Oh, they're doing good. They're doing the right thing. Yeah, right. Give me a break. Tell me another lie before that one gets cold. Yeah, I'm going over my, my time on this video. Now I'm going into a second video. Basically. Because I want people to know the truth of what's really going on. Now if you don't want the truth, don't watch my videos. Go watch... Uh, Somebody else, like uh, Joe Osteen, to tickle your ears. Go laugh at him. Instead of laughing at me. Wake up before it's too late. That's all I'm saying. Wake up before it's too late because we are in the last days. Whether or not that website is fake or not, it brings out the truth that there are Christians out there, even in the United States of America, that are being in my opinion, terrorized by our own government to bow, to bend, and to worship what they say. Well, you know what uh, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego said, we will not bow, we will not bend, we will not burn. They were put into the fiery pit, and Jesus was right there in the midst of them. And, uh, and then Daniel, because there were people that didn't like him, that went to the king and, and um, had the king uh, issue a uh, decree that uh, people were supposed to worship him, and Daniel was caught worshiping and praying to God. And then uh, they went back to the king and said, hey, look what Daniel's doing. And the uh, king talked to Daniel, and Daniel did not deny it. And Daniel was put into the lion's den. There are many cases where laws of man do not agree with the laws of God and our right to worship God the one true God and our right to uh, worship Jesus Christ as his son and savior and our savior it is getting to the point in the United States of America where the United States of America is not going to allow us to worship the way we want to worship the way we've been worshiping in the past and they're not going to allow us to uh, 
obey God's laws. We're going to have to obey man's laws. There, like, there's people already out there that have claimed to be Christian that keep saying, well, we got to obey every ordinance of man. Well, what about every ordinance of God? God's ordinances outweighs man's ordinances, no matter what. If a man's ordinance once come along and says, well, you, you know, you can't uh, follow God's law anymore. you got to follow our law. Well, it's more important, God's law or man's law. God's law is most important. The one most important thing to follow. And if we do, and if, if we do not follow God's law, then, you know, we're, we're just doomed with the rest of the world. And I don't want to be doomed with the rest of the world. I want to hear, well, well done, good and faithful servant. I don't want to hear, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. What's iniquity? Well, iniquity is basically um, thinking that you're following the right thing, but you didn't follow the right thing. That's the way I look at it. Oh, I gotta get off here. I, I've been on here too long as it is. Battery's getting low. Time's almost. Well, it's went over the 30 minutes that uh, it allows for one video. Are you right? Are you uh, right with God? Are you uh, washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? Because that's the grace. The grace is the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace doesn't mean that uh, you are, you know, you, it's like something that, you know, you can just get away with. Grace is the love that the Father feels for us. And He allowed Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins. And His blood washes our sins away when we come to Him. Our sins are no longer remembered by God. They are blotted out. They are uh, thrown into the deepest part of the sea, no longer to be remembered by God. But Satan doesn't want to uh, throw it away. He, wa he wants to keep bringing up people's past sins because he's an accuser of the brethren but God's like I don't see your sins I see the blood of Jesus Christ I see the blood of my son and I see the good works that you have done well done good and faithful servant Jesus is going to judge the nations based on what we have done for others. He is going to separate the sheep from the goats. Those who want to follow some other false religion and, 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 and false uh, preacher. And, and uh, those from those who follow him. And the right doctrine. Well, my battery's almost dead, so I gotta get off here. Are you right? Are you are your sins covered by the blood of Jesus Christ? Get your head out of the sand before it's too late. Stop being an ostrich, Christian. And be the Christian that God wants you to be. A soldier. Somebody that's ready to take up his cross and follow him. And die daily. Or do you love your life so much that you lose your soul God bless you all have a blessed day